My name's Jan. I live with my lovely husband, David, in Nolkabar, which is a suburb of Cessnock. 36 years ago, we acquired a commemorative coin of Charles and Diana's engagement. And then, of course, I just got hooked. And I just bought a couple of things. <laughs> so we are the biggest royal collection in Australia. Some people don't believe so much can be in one house. They walk through the door and go, oh my God, how do you fit this in? How, it's all in one room. No, we've actually got three or four rooms if you just wander your way through. We live a normal life. The museum does come to life of night time, you know, that movie, Night in the Museum. It's true. <laughs> well, we have the masks that we actually put on the many coins that we make. Everyone loves the Queen, but poor old Charles, his nose is quite large and his ears are very big and people aren't very happy about poor old Charles. We do get the odd people that think it's an insult, so they come in and get a little bit upset and, you know, say, how dare you, but... We have to try and get the point across that they're actually caricatures, they're not portraits. This is Diana's room, so Camilla's not allowed past that door because this is just Diana's room. Plenty of dolls, cups, plates, you name it, it's in here. This is Sergeant Dillon. One lady came in and had a look over it, said it should never have left the palace. She said, that suit is a genuine suit from Buckingham Palace. I said, well, I hope so, I bought it for that. We have heaps of magazines. I've got boxes and boxes of them, but you know, where do you put them? We get mainly the elderly that come through, not, not a great deal of young people, and they just fall in love with everything. And I won't say they're normal, because none of us are normal that do this. We mainly do groups. Very rare we do individuals, unless it's a be nice for someone from the palace or something like that. When we actually have morning tea, I make the little tea bags. So every tea bag has a different king or a queen. All the corgis on the lounge have the names of the royal dogs. This one's actually Holly. David does everything. I just write out the list so it's never ending. He built the phone box, so you walk through the phone box from one room to the other. We have been told it's the largest in the Southern Hemisphere. It did start by accident, but now there's over 10,000, so we've got everything.